I'm Chip Jackson. I'm the Associate Vice President of Planning and Facilities. Well, Route 5. Route 5 has been in uh, planning and thinking stage for many, many years. Uh, and the project is gearing up to start construction in the spring. And this is the final design. This is probably the eighth or ninth public presentation we've done on the design, and this shows the final um, scope. So I'll point out key factors for you. The road narrows just a little bit, and we've worked with the Ridge Volunteer Fire Department to talk about how narrow is, is works for them, but also helps to slow traffic down, because traffic engineers say that as you narrow a road, it actually uh, encourages drivers to slow down some. And so it's, the road will be, instead of 12-foot lanes, it'll be 11-foot lanes on each side. And about half the shoulders, which are now about 10-foot wide, about half the shoulders will remain as shoulders as a bike lane, and the other five feet will become sidewalks. Plenty of lighting along the road. For orientation, this is St. John's Pond. This is the intersection down at our waterfront facilities with our boathouse buildings. And the intersection at Trinity Church Road in Route 5 will get truncated. So it forms a natural T, a formal T, versus right now it's an off-ramp. And as an off-ramp, too many vehicles shoot up Trinity Church Road, still going 40 miles an hour, and that's an unsafe condition. We're actually reducing by about a third the amount of impervious surfaces, so this is a good project for the environment. The sidewalks will continue across with the sight lighting, continue the five-foot uh, bicycle lanes, um, so it's roadway, bicycle lane, and, and sidewalk. Some minor modifications at the driveway to the post office will actually improve the entrance to the post office parking uh, and continue that up uh, on Route 5 in the southbound direction. There's some concrete swales right now which aren't very environmentally friendly. Those will be turned into grass swales uh, and to improve water quality. And then the last section of road is coming up from the crosswalk at the campus center up to the driveways to the campus center and the uh, old state house road driveway that goes to uh, historic St. Mary City. Uh, and here the scope is very simple. It's mostly just uh, continuing the five foot wide sidewalks and the, uh, the remaining shoulder, about five foot of shoulder, will turn into grass. So that's another area where we are reducing the amount of impervious surface. So this is the design. It's, it's finished. Uh, and we hope construction will start uh, probably in May time frame next spring. Uh, and uh, it will be a, you know, finally the project that we've been talking about for many, many years will be done. And uh, safety will be improved. And uh, we hope the community is very happy with the project.